Well, we are just about halfway through summer and a lot of us looking for fun and inexpensive ways to keep the kids busy. So how does the bargain price of free sound? I love that. Yeah. Heidi's in Scottsdale right. this morning showing us a new exhibit that won't cost you a dime. Heidi, good morning. Do tell, do tell. I know we love the word free. We always say that, but when we find something this great, we just have to let everybody know about it. Uh, if your kids are like mine, they're getting a little bored. We're kind of in the thick of summer and we've done a lot of the uh, obvious things. So this is something that a lot of people may not know about. We're out at the Scottsdale Public Library this morning where they have an exhibit called Camp Dream Tree. It's completely free and it's adorable, just absolutely adorable. Like I walked in, I'm like, I love it, I love it. Uh, Roy and Corinne are the masterminds behind this, and this is their little one who is a, a little camper herself. Tell me about this uh, exhibit and, and how interactive it is for families. All right, well, it's basically just a uh, art installation that's inspired by camping and scouting. So you can come in and you can participate in the activity trails. You can earn eight badges within the space and then your two final badges in the youth library, and that allows you to become a dream weaver. I love that. You're speaking my language. I have little <laughs> scouts at home, and you guys are even all decked out with your uh, scout uniforms and your little neckerchiefs. Uh, where did you guys come up with this idea? Why was this important for you? Well, it's all really been the first the proposal and then family, uh, you know, our own new family, and then we've been inspired by our families. Roy's father was an artist, and we both have really fond memories of camping and scouting. And, and being outdoors. So this is a nice way to uh, kind of experience some of those outdoor activities uh, inside because it's hot and muggy out there. Roy, <laughs> come over here with me. We're showing uh, some of the houses. This exhibit is designed with several different houses uh, based on the directions. Tell me about this one we're looking at here. Uh, this would be the north house and it's the fire house. And each of the houses has two different activity trails. One of them is called Adventure and the other one is called Chronicle. So what will the kids do in this house right here? Well, for Adventure, for this particular house, because it deals with fire and the history of the camp, um, what you learn is how to build three different types of safe, safe uh, campfires. <laughs> which is something here in Arizona we're always hoping people learn at a very young age because every summer we kind of get a little scared and we see these fires happen. I uh, show yes, this little true. this little scout handbook that they have here. So when you bring your kids to this exhibit, uh, you get one of these little books mm -hmm. and then you work your way through it. And it gives a little bit of the history of the camp and then inside there's a spot for all of your achievements as you earn them. And the achievements are within the space and they're rubbing that you uh, when you earn your achievement, you place it over the rubbing and that's how you get it. And tell me uh, really quickly about the other houses. The one behind us is the biggest. Uh, that's the one that you see when you first walk in here, makes it so colorful, such a powerful uh, visual for the kids. What's in there? Well, in there, it's the introduction to the story behind the camp. And it's the story of the founding of the camp by our, our camp founder, Evan Stevens. And uh, there you learn how he met this large house, and it's a living being in the land of Crystal Burn. And there you can also take the scout pledge to become a dream scout. I love it. It's, they're inspiring kids to, to learn and to be engaged and to develop a sense of wonder. I want to talk to Wendy. She's with uh, the Scottsdale uh, Art Commission. And you said you saw this proposal, and you kind of knew right away this was going to be a good fit for, for the folks here in the Valley. Right. Scottsdale Public Art uh, uh, puts out a uh, call for proposals for a family friendly, fun, interactive art experience in the library. And as soon as we saw this proposal, we thought, how much fun would this be? A camp indoors, you can have fun, you can learn about art, you can learn about nature, um, and it's just a fantastic place. It's adorable. I just love how they have this whole center area with the campfire right here. Uh, this is open. Uh, through the end of July, it is completely free. If you're looking for a couple of hours to kill with the kids, this is the place to come, Gina. Oh, well, Heidi, the other thing I'm thinking is I'm not a big bug nature girl, so I can camp <laughs> without dealing with the bugs. I like it. This is, yeah, this is city girl camping, Gina. This is perfectly <laughs> safe. Nothing is going to get you. <laughs> and we should mention Second Street and Drinkwater is right there in downtown Scottsdale. Heidi, thanks for featuring that. That's really neat. Really appreciate it. Good advice for moms and dads. Temps well over 100 degrees and the humidity on the rise. Camping here in the valley, not such a hot idea, unless, of course, you can do it indoors. Heidi Gautier takes us inside Camp Dream Tree. Complete with a campfire, tents, even not tying. If you remember, you only cross under once. This is Camp Dream Tree. It's uh, basically this place where you can come in and be kind and present and have respect for wonder. And it's just a reminder here 
to interact with your surroundings and feel like you're small but part of the whole. Camp Dream Tree is an interactive art exhibit at the Scottsdale Public Library and is the brainchild of Roy and Corinne Wasson. I sort of just wrote this fictional camp with this history, you know, dealing with north, south, east, and west, and kind of the things that each of those things bring within our country. It also incorporates boy and girl scout programs, allowing families to earn badges as they follow each achievement trail. My favorite thing is when I see parents doing the achievement trails together with, with their kids. One of my favorite reactions, I saw a dad last week in here with his two little girls and one of them was asleep and one of them was about six years old and she was at the fire and then he was reading the handbook and he came up to her and he was like, we could be winning badges, we could be <laughs> earning achievements and they just started going through and, and being in the space, which was really wonderful. Wendy Raysonen is on the Scottsdale Art Committee and says choosing this exhibit was easy. We just thought this was so perfect and these artists are so amazing imaginative and they have so much heart with the, the message of the camp and the art installation. And based on the response from families, she's right. There's a lot of ooing and eyeing, and um, we really want people to look up too. So I love seeing little kids just like, because <gasps> there's all of these eyes looking down at you. Before you can be a camper at Camp Dream Tree, you have to take the camp pledge, promising to be kind, present, and always remembering that we are all small, but part of the whole. In Scottsdale, I'm Heidi Goitia for 3TV.